Hey everyone, you're watching Online Tech Tips, and if your games are stuttering, your 3D renders are crawling, or your video editing timeline looks like it's running through molasses, the issue might be your VRAM. In this video, I'm looking at how to check your video RAM or VRAM in Windows 10, Windows 11, and Mac OS. I'll also explain what VRAM is, why it matters, and how to check if yours is stable under load. Okay, so let's quickly cover what VRAM actually is. VRAM stands for Video Random Access Memory. It's the memory your GPU uses to store image data, textures, and frame buffers. Basically, everything you see on screen when playing a game or running graphic-heavy apps, like Blender or Adobe Premiere. More VRAM usually means smoother visuals, faster rendering, and fewer stutters at higher resolutions. But not always, of course, because your GPU's actual performance also influences this. So, how do you check how much VRAM you have in Windows 10. There are two easy ways to check VRAM in Windows 10. The first method is using the Settings app. Right-click the Start button and click Settings. Now go to System and then select Display. Scroll down and click Advanced Display Settings. Then choose Display Adapter Properties for Display 1. Under the Adapter tab, look for Dedicated Video Memory. That's your VRAM. If you've got an integrated GPU, you'll also see entries for shared system memory and total available graphics memory. But what you're after is the dedicated stuff. You can also use the DirectX diagnostic tool. This is great if you have more than one GPU, which is actually a common case with laptops. Press Windows and R together and then type DXDiag and press Enter. Click the Display 1 tab to see VRAM under Display Memory. Switch to Display 2 if you have a second GPU connected to a different monitor. Now, how about checking VRAM in Windows 11? Windows 11 makes this just as easy as Windows 10, if not easier. You can also use the Settings app as before. Just press Windows plus I to open Settings, then go to System and Display. Scroll down and click Advanced Display Settings. Then click Display Adapter Properties for your active monitor. Under the Adapter tab, you'll find the VRAM listed just as with Windows 10. You can also still use DXDiag exactly as you did with Windows 10. The same method applies. Now here's how to check for VRAM in Mac OS, but this only applies to Intel Macs. Click the Apple menu, and then hold the Option key and select System Information. In the sidebar, click Graphics slash Displays. Look for the VRAM value on the right. Heads up. If you're on an Apple Silicon Mac, like M1, M2, or M3, there is no separate VRAM. It's all part of the same memory pool. So this won't apply to those Macs. If you have an 8GB M1, 8GB is how much you have in total, and it will dynamically allocate the VRAM. If your system ever runs out of VRAM, it borrows from system RAM, which is slower and leads to stuttering, pop-in textures, and lag. So again, more VRAM, smoother gameplay. Or you'll have to turn down the resolution or details to get under that limit. Well, now you know how to check your VRAM in Windows and Mac OS, so you can determine if you have enough of the stuff. See you next time.